Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and today I wanted to very quickly show you how to use the Irma Etch Cream. Now this is a glass etching cream that you can use with any electronic die cutting machine to create a frosted look on glass. So some of the basic things you're going to need is obviously your glassware that you want to put the image onto. I also make sure I spray with isopropylene on the glass before I start just to make sure there's no grease fingerprints. Of course you're going to need some etching cream. I believe there are different brands as well as Irma Etch but this is the only one that I've ever used. And then also a bit of vinyl. Now I, as you can see, this is just a yellow mustardy colour. I always use a vinyl colour that I don't like because this is going to get thrown away. I buy mixed 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl as you can see. So I always use the least favourite colours because I know I'm not likely to use this in a project. So I've already cut out my design. I'm just showing you the design I'm going to use here for the glass that I want to etch. What we want to leave exposed is the area that we want to etch. This is my weeded image. So the bits in white, that's the backing of the vinyl. You can see that's the area that I want etched onto my glass. Just apply some transfer tape. And then also remember whenever you're using something like a mug or a glass, it sometimes can be difficult with the curve. So you can always snip away at the edges just to make sure you get a really smooth impression from that vinyl. Now you do want to make sure you apply this really well because any little gaps amongst those areas your cream may seep through and then you'll have a leaky image. So now it's time to start etching. So I'm going to give it a good shake and the great thing about this is it looks like a quite a small bottle because there's 80 grams in here or 2.8 fluid ounce. But you'll see that once we finish the etching, we can scrape it off and put it back in the bottle to use next time. So it really does go a long way. Now I'm just going to pat this on. You just need to be really mindful if your weeded image is close to the edge, you want to make sure that it's not going to go on the glass. Because wherever the cream touches is where you'll get an etched image. And I'm going to leave this for a minimum of 10 minutes. Obviously you've got to experiment yourself with the results you're going to get, but definitely a minimum of 10 minutes I would say. Now that's cured long enough, I'm going to use my brush to remove most of this etching cream to put back into the bottle. And then I'm going to take it over to the sink and give it a really good rinse. So we're leaving the vinyl on at this stage while we're doing the rinsing. So you can see we do get an awful lot of that back. So it doesn't look like much at this point, but when you go to rinse it off, you'll start to see the etched impression. So I'm just going to go over to the sink now and wash that off. The time for the big reveal. So now all we need to do is simply peel this back. And there you have it. It's very hard to see on camera, but hopefully you can make out that monogram effect. This will stay like this, it's completely dishwasher safe. Give it a try if you've never done this before. Like I say, it's a great thing to do with any stencil that you may have. And I hope you like that quick video.